Good evening, children. And welcome to Board Games Everybody Should Dot Dot Dot. I have a letter from Rob who writes This morning I woke up as a zombie. Feeling rather peckish, I meandered into the kitchen. After perusing uh, many of the cupboards there, I found a tin marked Brains. I opened the tin only to discover that it was filled with dice! This is zombie dice. As it says on the box, it's zombies and dices. That's all it is. In zombie dice, each player is a zombie and their role is to eat as many brains as possible. In the pot, there will be 13 dice. These dice are three different colors, green, yellow, and red. Do you really need me to point them out? Okay, and these basically represent the people. The three levels are easy people, medium people, and very hard people. Why? Well, on the green dice, you will see that there are three brains, one shotgun blast, and two runaways. Whereas the yellow, there is only two brains, two shotgun shots, and two runaways. And on the red, you've guessed it, there are one brain, three shotgun shots, and two runaways. On a player's turn, they will take three dice from the pot. Two, boom, three. And then they will roll them. Whatever the result is, it's the result. So in this case, I've rolled one brain, which means that I've eaten a brain. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. It's good that. One brain. This means that I've been shot. Now, if you get shot three times, that's when your turn ends. And any brains that you've eaten get eliminated from your score. This means that this person has run away. An easy person has run away, which means I have to keep this dice. And if I wish to roll again, I have to roll this dice plus two more from the pot. So, let's take two more. Oh, not too bad. So now I roll three dice again. Oh, all three of them ran away. Go again. Aha, I've got two more brains, so that's two more points. So I've got three points, but I've been shot two times. If I get shot another time, I lose those points. If I decide to quit, which I can do, I score those three points and play passes to the next player. Basically what will happen is this will go around the table until someone gets to 13 points. When someone reaches at 13 points, it goes back to the first player and then the person with the highest score at the end of the game wins. So, summing up the zombie dice! Zombie dice is a board game that everybody should have at the back of their cupboard just in case there's a zombie outbreak or the in-laws come round. In a world saturated with the zombie theme, it's very hard to find a, a good zombie anything. Um, this is not a good zombie theme thing. It's just a light dice rolling game. Hardcore gamers out there are very put off by this fact and would rather pluck the hairs from their legs with tweezers than play this game. I, oh. It's basically a push your luck game with dice. It's very light and it's very quick. Plays best with around two to six players. Uh, when you start getting more players, that's when the iPhones come out. Oh, it's my go, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> There's none of the ambience if you've got a big group. You need people there who are going to be engaged in the game, who are going to be jeering people on. Um, to make them 
get shot three times so they lose all the points that they got. It's fun for kids. Kids love it as well because it's quick, it's light, it doesn't, it's not draped in theme that they go have nightmares um, uh, or if they lose the game they don't go away crying because it is just a light, oh damn, I lost kind of thing. You can take it anywhere, play it on a train, play it when you're camping, it's just fun, light, quick, fill a game, enjoy it. I do.